Hey Fifi community, I'm Claire from A Cheesemonger's Daughter and today I'm going to show you how to cook a super simple one pot chicken pot pie. My goal is just to get you into your kitchen, not to be scared to cook, and if I can do it in my really small Brooklyn. And I'm gonna lead you through the dish today the way that I learned to cook from my dad, which is to use your five senses, plus common, our friend common sense is gonna help us in the kitchen. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you the ingredients we're gonna use. So I call it my one pot pot pie, but we're actually gonna use the pot in two different shifts. And shift one is gonna be to cook our chicken. And here I have three chicken breasts cut up. And again, just think about the size that you want in the final dish, like a fork. And that's just an across the board in the kitchen kind of rule. You wanna think about the final product, the enjoying eating part of things when you're cooking. So you don't want the pieces of chicken or vegetables to be too big, but you also don't want them to be too small so they melt away. So with that said, I also have my veg. And over here I have my, what I call my foundation garments. I went to fashion school, it's the way I think. They are the things that you can't go on without having them, our aromatics. And then in my last bowl, I have our potatoes and turnips, which I guess in my metaphor of fashion would be kind of the accessories, the thing that kind of gives everything the pizzazz and the hardiness to the outfit. They are crazy cheap, awesome vegetables to use this season too. So step one is to get a skillet over a high heat and heat a few tablespoons of olive oil. About a, I call it like a generous glug. And then we're gonna get our chicken in with some salt and pepper as seasoning. So here's a really good audible and visual clue for you guys with step one of cooking the chicken. I seasoned it well with salt and pepper, added some olive oil to the pan, got it really hot. So I have a really nice sizzle and the chicken is starting to turn opaque so I can start flipping it. And it's only been a few minutes, but as you can see, the chicken has turned completely opaque. If you weren't cooking this more, because we're going to be popping this guy in the oven later, I'd say continue to cook it. But for this purpose, it's fine. I'm going to put it on the plate and then do the vegetables so we can move on to step. So now I'm going in with our aromatics, what I said my base garments were earlier, and that is garlic, celery, onion, and carrot. And that's gonna add amazing flavor. The carrots will add a little bit of texture as well to the dish. And then I'll add the other veg when that cooks. So now that you can see that the onions and especially the garlic has basically disappeared, melted into the dish, and the onions and the celery have gone sort of soft and translucent, I can go in with my harder veg, um, the turnips and the potatoes to start So my potatoes and turnips have cooked. I added some frozen peas for some really nice color for the pie. Um, and now you can see I've added my four tablespoons of butter to start making the roux. I'm gonna add flour to this next and then stock to have. So now I'm starting to add my flour. I like to add flour a little slowly but surely just to make sure that it fully cooks. You don't want the raw flour taste in your gravy. And what a roux is is equal parts fat and flour. And now it's time to go in with the stock. And again, I add the stock slowly. I really scrape, get all the bits off the bottom of the pan that's called deglazing, and that's all flavor that you wanna add back in. So don't worry if anything is stuck on. You're adding that right back into your pie. And just keep adding. So my gravy's been bubbling away. I just added some more salt and pepper. This is the time to do, do that taste test. Taste as you go. You can always add more seasoning. This is a rule of thumb in the kitchen. You can always add more, but you can never take away. So taste as you go. And now we go right back in with our chicken, which has been on our plate the whole time. And make sure you get all those juices on the plate too. That again is just more added flavor and get that all incorporated. And then we're gonna put the crust on. And our last step before putting it all on the oven is to put your crust on. Again, no worries about how it looks. As you can see, I kind of patched that up a little bit, but that's the fun of home cooking. No one's judging you, no one should judge you. And then just poke it and here's our finished pie straight from the oven. It makes the perfect cozy winter meal for a weekday or weekend. And thank you so much for joining me today on the feed feed. Follow me at a cheesemonger's daughter where I break down recipes like this in my stories all the time. I'll see you there.